What's up guys and welcome to the second episode on how to draw manga. Now in this episode I'd like to show you how you can draw manga faces pretty much. The thing is that a lot of YouTube channels always show how you can make it while drawing a circle, the guidelines, how you place everything and then blah, you have to be able to draw the face by yourself after the first time are you going to be really frustrated and I know that feeling so I'm going to show you how you can also um, look at other people's stuff and improve your face drawing skills and how you can pretty much practice and all that so I'm going to show you this in this video today. Now before I start I would like to say that I will do more tutorials in the future, so if you want to see those and learn some things about manga drawing, then you should definitely go ahead and subscribe down below. Alright, now let's begin. Alright, so first of all, you have to learn where to place the guidelines. And yes, I will recommend you to trace other people's work. For this, you'll just need some tracing paper kind of stuff and pencil and other people's work, which should be pretty much something that goes in the direction that you would like to draw but also stuff that you would never want to be able to draw like something maybe you don't like the art style or maybe you just don't want to draw in that kind of direction kind of thing you should still use these things to guide you because we're not going to use that um, style that drawing style we're just gonna use the the artwork to know where to put our guidelines all right so what i'm doing here is i'm pretty much going to trace the top of the shoulders the neck and the complete outline of the head plus the ears now you can see that on the right side of the paper there's also others with eyes that i drew on it but for now we don't we're not going to do that you don't need that once you have done the outlines of the face, the neck, and the top of the shoulders, you want to go ahead with another colored pencil because that's just going to make it easier. If you don't want to do that, then you don't have to, but it's going to make it a little bit easier. And you want to draw a cross and maybe with another colored pencil, which I didn't do right there, you want to draw a circle in the head. Now, if this is your first time trying to draw manga or you haven't really succeeded before, then I would recommend you draw certain faces first so you want to go ahead and go into your manga or your comic or whatever you're trying to draw and you want to look at the things and you want to choose faces that are all facing straight forward okay so now that you understand where exactly you have to do the guidelines you could also go ahead and use your tracing paper to mark the pieces where the nose the mouth and the eyes go and also maybe the eyebrows all these things you want to put as many guidelines as you possibly can and still understand what the hell is going on on your paper and once you've understood how to do that you can now go ahead and try and draw it yourself without any tracing paper draw a face try it out i'm pretty sure you already have seen tutorials where you can draw faces like that with a circle and then the lines etc etc but in case you haven't or you don't really understand what's going on, I'm going to explain it for you once again. Alrighty, now the first thing you want to do is you want to draw a circle. If you're really bad at drawing circles, then I'd recommend you try out drawing circles over and over and over again. If you're still really bad at it, I don't know if you're really made to draw, but you should practice drawing circles because if you can't draw a circle, you might not want to go ahead and draw other things. Being able to draw a circle is a pretty solid base for starting out to draw. Okie dokie, so now that we have all successfully drawn a circle, we can move on to the next step. Now all these lines you're doing right now, you can either do them in colored pencils. I'm doing it because I'm trying to make it a little more logic for you guys, but you can do this in your pencil, in your normal pencil too. Um, however, you can also sketch in blue, like the guidelines, you can make them all in blue or all in red. That's up to you. As I said in another video, that that's just st something people do. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. So it's up to you, you can choose. And I used a red pencil so you can understand it more, as I said, and I made a cross right in the middle of the circle. So if you had had a middle of the circle, you would have the middle of the cross be in the middle of that circle, if that makes sense to you. 
Now the next thing to do is you want to mark where your eyes are going to go. Now most of the time the eyes should be all in the center of the face halves. So your pupil, like the black thing in your eye, should be in the center of your face half kind of thing, you know? Now not all manga eyes are completely round, however in my art style they are. Um, I still would recommend you to draw round eyes for now, just for practice, so you know where to do it before you go into crazy eyes. And this is not about the eyes right now, but it's about the face and how you place everything, so don't even worry about the eyes, we're gonna do that in another video. Now as you just saw me do that, I took the width of the eyes, which is a good kind of guide for my art style, but as I look back at it, it's not really a good guide for everyone because not everyone has is going to have the same um, eye shape and eye, like the largeness of the eye, if that even is English, I'm not sure. But pretty much what you want to do is you want to mark a nice point where your chin is going to go. I don't really know what kind of a size that would be, but I guess it would be maybe an ear. But again, that would also be something people can just make up what's the ear gonna be, you know, the size of the ear is just up to you. I also want to say that the face I drew right there is not exactly how I would imagine a perfect face to look like. However, it does work with the guidelines, it looks like a face, it's just not my art style right now and that's why it looks kind of weird to me, but probably you don't even see any problem with it, maybe, I don't know. I also marked where the nose and the mouth are going to go. All these things are going to be something you can take from tracing others' faces so you know where everything has to be. And then you can go ahead and make a clean sketch on top of those guidelines. You don't have to erase them or anything for now, you can just leave them on there and you just draw your eyes, your nose, everything out. Right now I'm drawing the eyes. Now for the eyes. You can you know, just make something really simple. Take the manga that has the most simple eyes to you, try and draw them, and if you think they're really simple, use those to draw. It doesn't have to be your eyes right now. You don't have to draw in your art style right now. That's not the point. If you would start drawing your own art style from the beginning, you wouldn't learn anything. So you need, first of all, you need to learn how to draw something then you can have your own art style. Oh, and by the way, there's nothing you can practice or um, study on having your own art style. An art style just happens. You have one from the beginning of your time. You're always going to have your style because that's how you draw. So you might not be able to recognize it now or in a few years even maybe, but you always have your own art style. As long as you don't get stuck on other people's art too much, and even then you're still gonna have your own style, it's not gonna look exactly like theirs. Anyway, so for the face, um, I'm not really going to go too much into detail about the face, because I also want to make a video talking about the face and where you can practice about eyes and where you can practice on lips and everything and ears and all these things. And so right now it's just about where to place the eyes, where to place the nose, and where to place the mouth, and in what pers in perspective also. So in a minute we're gonna go into perspective, but first we're gonna try and draw a male's head. Now the male's head is just like the woman's head. You draw a circle, <clears throat> you draw um, your crosses inside, you draw where you have to put the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So male's head is different from a female's head because it's going to be a little bit longer. Now you can try out and make a male's head shape just like a female's head shape, but it's always going to look like a little kid or just not really manly. So if you want to draw a guy that's pretty manly and looks, you know, tall and already pretty adult, if it's a child, then draw the draw round rounder face like a girl's head maybe but if you're drawing someone that is already grown up or maybe in his teenager years then his face is going to be way longer than a woman's head now the way I do it is I just try and keep the jaw bones a little bit um, more narrow so instead of going way out 
they just stay more like a triangle kind of shape and then on the bottom I just draw like a tiny straight line for the chin and there you have your basic kind of jaw line kind of thing for your character. Okay, so here's something you can choose for yourself right now. You can either just practice on drawing the head shape itself and draw like floating heads everywhere, or you can also just practice already drawing the neck and the beginning of the shoulders. Now you don't have to draw the whole shoulders or start drawing with the arms and then all of a sudden you drew a whole body, but you can draw already the neck at least and the beginning of the shoulders like I'm doing right now and that will help you later on too. Now as I said I don't really want to go too much into the details of the eyes and how to draw them however I want to say that there is a difference between girls eyes and males eyes but those are all things you can see when looking at other people's art. The males eyes are going to be way smaller and have a different shape than the girls eyes so you need to be careful with that. Alrighty, so now that we have drawn like a head like this, then we want to do this a whole page long and maybe even the back side of the page and maybe another page and another page. You want to do this a lot. This is what practice is all about. Now you don't have to do it like it's annoying, you know, like, oh, I have to draw it again, I have to draw it again. No, but you know, when you're in school or wherever you are, you can take a bit of paper and try and scribble it on. Don't get caught. I will not, I'm not responsible if you get caught by your teacher. So if you're not allowed to draw like this in your class, then don't do it. It's not my fault, okay? Just don't, don't do it. Why? No, don't. Okay, so now that we have the face of the front and you practice a lot, then you can move on to other perspective. So perspective obviously is a little harder than drawing a face phrasing front words kind of thing but it's also not that hard everything needs practice so if it doesn't work the first time as I said you do a full page on just that the guidelines almost stayed the same pretty much you have to draw a circle and you have to draw the crosses now the thing is with that is that where the middle of your face is going to be there's also going to be the middle of the cross right so you have to put the cross somewhere else now it's where the whole thing becomes a little bit tricky. Don't you worry, I got you. Okay, so we start off by drawing the normal circle like we did before. The cross kind of changes a little bit because instead of just being straight like a normal cross would be, like all straight lines, it is going to be rounded now. now what I'm thinking right now is you're going to try this out and you're already good at drawing faces facing forward. So that's a good thing because now you're gonna need that practice. If you already can't draw a front facing head then don't do this right now. This is gonna be death and you're gonna be really frustrated so just wait until you can draw a front facing head. Okay so it will depend on how your face is what your face is facing pretty much um, where the roundness and how to be perspective and all that is going to be. And this is where the tracing part comes in handy again. Now I'm not showing it right now because I did make other kind of perspective uh, tracing before instead of doing just a front facing tracing. Um, but pretty much before you should only do front facing, you trace front facing faces on your manga and whatever. And now you can move ahead and go with all perspective stuff. However, there's a lot of perspective drawings and you can do your face facing everywhere, which is not really a good idea if you try and start out and this is not the second step we want to do. Like, you're not going to draw a crazy thing right now. What you want to do, the second step, is you want to draw a head that's facing to the side. Just a simple side facing head. So instead of being like this, you want to draw it like that. I kind of wish I could just tell you like a little formula or how you have to do it exactly but there is nothing like that. There's no math kind of thing, there's no rule that tells you that's how you have to do it because it's also art and art is always something, there's always room for interpretation and how you want to do it and that's where your art style comes in. 
because no matter how much of a beginner you are, you're always going to have your art style because your hand does something. So here you're going to have a different picture than me, even though you followed exactly the steps that I did. Doesn't matter, you're always going to have something different. And that doesn't mean your art is crap or anything. So don't be too frustrated about it. I used to be so frustrated because my art didn't look like others. And that's not the that's not what you want to do. This is something you never want to achieve. That your art looks like someone else's, that's so sad, right? So just try and make your own thing. While you are practicing drawing faces facing the side, you don't want to stop drawing other thing you learned before. So you still want to draw faces facing frontwards because otherwise you're going to have that all down. You're going to be good at f drawing faces, uh, front facing heads, and then you're going to go into heads that face the side and then you forget how to do the front thing. So you always want to be, you want to concentrate a little more on the side view now, but you don't want to forget about the front view, if that makes sense to you. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Pretty much it's easy. If I tell it to you right now, this is how it is. It's easy. You can try it out. If you don't succeed, it doesn't matter. You try it out again and you try it out again. That's the most important thing. That's the rule of how to draw. If you don't succeed, you try again and again and again and again. If you're not up to that, then maybe drawing is not for you. If you don't have the patience to do that, then you probably aren't made for drawing. But you maybe love art, so you have to overcome that. So just do it. It's not a big deal. I know it sounds like a lot if I tell you you have to draw this multiple times every single day in order for you to advance very fast and very nicely. That's That sounds like a lot of work and oh my god, I have to sit down two hours every day and draw a full sheet of faces. No. And it's also not going to be this hard. If you really love it, you're going to do it anyways. Even if I don't tell you, you have to do this today and today and today and tomorrow and always. You're still going to do it anyways because you love doing it. And that's what practice is about. You have to do it all the time, everywhere. Okay, so now that we have all that down, I want to show you a little life hack right now. Now, if you're like me and you can for the life of you, you can just not draw a face facing the right side because I'm right-handed and I can't draw a face that faces to the right, then I have a life hack here for you. For this you will need something where you can trace it like light table or a window or you can go ahead and watch my video on um, I made a DIY light pad kind of thing or you could use some tracing paper. I'm gonna use my light pad right now and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Right now you can't really see what I'm doing because it's not really logic to you maybe, but pretty much what you want to do if you, for example, have your manga right now and your manga page, you want to have the page and you want to turn it over and you want to put it against your um, light source, so on your light pad for example, and you want to draw the person's head facing to the left if that's all you can draw and you want to do that on the back of the paper in the panel still and then you can turn it around on the light pad trace it again like you're seeing right now that I'm doing and then you will have a face facing the other way it's pretty simple this kind of method can also help you if you find your way uh, your face kind of wonky then you can just put it against a light source or just hold it in the air against uh, some kind of a light in your room. And then you can see like reverse kind of thing, you know, you turn it over so your sketch is on the back and then you can see through the paper and maybe you'll see some uh, mistakes you made and how, why it's wonky and why where you have to change it up a little bit. So that's something I use a lot too. Okay, there you go. So. First of all, I want to say thank you for sticking with this tutorial for so long. I know it's very long, but 
I want to really get into detail with the things I teach you, so that's why I try and make them as long as I have to, if that's what it is. Now, I say a lot of if that makes any sense to you, so if it doesn't, then please just ask me in the comments, I'm gonna be very happy to answer it. Okay, so um, other than that, I'm always really happy if you have sent me your pictures on Instagram, your drawings, I'm very happy to see them, you just have to tag me in them um, when you post your pictures and then I can look at them and it's gonna be really nice. Yeah, again, if you want to learn how to draw manga, um, don't forget to subscribe, then you will be getting more tutorials and um, if you want to get notified you know it works I don't have to tell you just click the little bell and you're gonna be notified if I upload a new video but usually it's on Fridays or Saturdays so you can look forward to that okay so hopefully see you next week and uh, yeah good luck bye